stampers. Welcome to the craft room. Today I'd like to show you how to make this flower. It has a real distressed and almost leathery look to it. So let's get started. We're going to begin with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this piece is four and a quarter by 11 and we're going to use our paper crimper because we really want to crumple up this paper and I find if you put it through the paper crimper a couple of times first it breaks down the fibers in the paper and that way when you start crumpling your paper it doesn't tear. So we're just going to put this through our paper crimper two times. So that's once and then back through again and doesn't matter what direction you go in. Again, we're just softening up these paper fibers, breaking them down. And then once you do that, you get to take out all of your aggression on your cardstock and you just want to crumple your cardstock. So you're going to crumple it up and then uncrumple it and then recrumple it, really trying to get a lot of different creases into your cardstock. And I can tell this is doing a pretty good job of not tearing. If you get some tears, that's okay, um, but it's kind of nice to have an intact piece when you get done with your crumpling and smushing. Okay, so now that I've gotten my aggression out on my cardstock, we now have a nicely crumpled piece. The next thing we're going to do is take our old Olive Classic Stampin' Pad and we're just going to direct to paper start to put some old olive ink onto this piece of cardstock and you can be as messy as you want you can get as inkied, inky fingered as you would like just trying to cover quite a bit of this cardstock and when you feel like you've gotten a nice amount of coverage we're going to close up that ink pad Next we're going to bring in our Tempting Turquoise ink pad and I found because these are both dark colors that doing these applications one after the other doesn't seem to discolor or ruin my ink pad. If you were using other colors you want to make sure that you use your lighter color first and then your darker color because obviously your ink pad is going to pick up whatever color you put down first. So now we're doing the same thing here and you can once again kind of do this direct to paper technique. You can also kind of come in and turn your cardstock and just press it and that way you're getting a little bit more into some of these crevices and grooves. And we're just trying to coat this side of the cardstock with ink. And once you feel comfortable with the amount of coverage that you have, the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of spraying. Now I've put in this small spray bottle some water and also some drops, about five drops or so, of Chocolate Chip Classic ink. And I have a little spray box here. I'm just going to put this in. And we're just going to kind of saturate our cardstock with this spray. And I know it doesn't look so beautiful right now, but it's really interesting as it starts to dry, those colors are going to start to come through quite a bit. So we've got that nice and sprayed down, and now we're going to use our heat tool to start to dry the cardstock. And you'll see as you start to dry it, some of the brighter color starts to come back through again, and the brown starts to get a little bit more subtle. Now that our piece is fully dry, it almost has a leather-like quality or feel to it. And now I'm going to run it through the Big Shot with this die, and this is the Big's Large Fun Flowers die. And I'm going to do the three different flowers, so I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. So I've run that through the Big Shot and I'm just pulling up the three flowers that we're going to be using and I'm going to set this aside. The next thing we're going to do is to distress these even further. So we're going to take our chocolate chip ink, our stamp pad, and also a sponge. And we're going to start to sponge the edges of each of these flowers. And once the edges are sponged, I actually like to come in with additional ink and kind of lightly sponge the top. It's going to get all those nice creases and really start to give this a leathery, distressed look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other flowers and I'll be right back. 
Okay, now that we've got all of our flower parts sponged and distressed, we're actually going to start to give the flower a little bit of shape. And to do that, you want to just start kind of bending the petals, and you can go in different directions. I happen to be bending these down and then pulling them up. You just want to be careful that you don't tear your flower at this point because you have put quite a bit of stress onto your cardstock. So just bending these petals, I'm going in this direction with these. Again, just trying to create dimension. You could even use a skewer or a dowel to help you roll the petals if you wanted. But I find if I just play with my fingers and kind of scrunch and roll a little bit that it gives them nice shape. And once you've got the shape that you desire, I'm going to start thinking about layering these together. And I like to add a little bit of height by adding some dimensionals in between my layers. So I'm just going to take a few dimensionals and I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on top of each other here on this layer so that this layer gets popped up just a little bit higher than the one below it. And again, we can do that here. And you can decide how high you want your flower. You can always put one dimensional on, see if you like that, and then you could add more if you would like. So I kind of like how it looks with one. And the last thing we're going to do is add the center to our flower. On this particular card, all I did was take an extra large brad and I dabbed some champagne shimmer mist paint onto the center, but you can have as much fun as you like with the centers of your flowers. So for this one, we're also going to use these extra large brads. These are the 5 8 inch neutral brads. And I think I'm actually going to use a lighter colored brad this time. Kind of like how that looks. And we're just going to get our paper piercing tool and our piercing mat and we're going to go ahead and make a hole in the center of our flower and you can pierce right through your dimensionals without a problem. So just going into the center here and creating a hole that we're going to slide that brad right through. And these extra large brads have really long prongs so they're able to go through the entire flower without a problem. And then you just want to fold those edges. And now you could go ahead and decorate your brad however you'd like. So I've grabbed some champagne glass glitter and all I'm going to do is add some crystal effects right to the center. of cover that whole brad. And if I go off of the brad a little bit, I'm okay with that. And then we're just going to pour that champagne glass glitter on there. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then we're just going to dump off this excess glitter. And there you have it, a really nice distressed leather looking flower that you can now add to a card if you'd like, as I did here with some hand cut leaves. You can also add this to a scrapbook page or an altered project. I keep thinking about how nice these would look on altered tin cans. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room.